Thank you, Shox. And it's that time to figure out the last finalist for the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship here in Katowice. We just had TSM with that intense match securing their spot, but who will be their opponent for this trophy right here? The first team going towards that final. It's that team that so far, as we just heard from Lust Boy himself, hasn't dropped a full match yet in their professional career. A perfect record in all best of matches, hailing from Korea, it's the GE Tigers! their opponents. Everyone said they were going to be weak. They're the last place team in their region. But look at where they are now, climbing back up from the losers match in their group. Coming from China, it's World Elite! China versus Korea once again here at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship. It's time to find out who our second finalists are back at the expert desk. Thank you very much, Chobra. Another wonderful intro. And, um, well, the Fisho, you said uh, the G Tigers, they will be able to react against anything because they're used to playing against everything. Though there are a couple of things like that Diana myth that's come in and a couple of comps that uh, WE has run. It's not because you see them play that you are able to play against them. Well, that's why you just ban it, honestly. Oh, okay. It's been the working pick in the mid lane. Teleport is a bit different for people. The triple or normally double global they have with two teleports and maybe even a Rek'Sai. I don't think you should take the chance and play against it. It mm. seems to be their main pick, at least for World Elite right now. And if they can make it out of their early game, it has proven to be pretty strong. So I feel like, at least for the first game, you might just ban it away because G Tigers, they are on the blue side. Yes, maybe you have to adapt for the next one, but this Diana pick has been quite annoying to deal with. Yeah, I think that's probably key. I mean, we looked at CJ's bans earlier on and they took Rumble away, which yeah. Aluka is one and six on so far this season. Just get rid of Diana, leave the Rumble open, and I think that already is probably a good start for them. I also feel like Sivir has been a good pick for Mystic in the bottom lane to really, again, snowball for World Elite whenever they would win the early game. They would run these very hard engaged comps with Diana, Sevier, obviously Maokai, Sion, or whatever it was in the top lane as well. Like, massive amount of engage where you can dive on to the enemy AD carry. And if you do see a composition built around the likes of, of Prey, well, suddenly, if he makes a mistake, you can catch him out from World Elite. And again, that's a way you can upset the GE Tigers. So I feel like target some of these comfort, hard engaged picks and then see what World Elite can do. If they're suddenly forced to play around Vision and smart shot calling, I don't think they have a chance because they seem to be very, way more like solo queue focused, like individual performance and like kind of all in. I think the only similarities we have between these two teams in terms of champions has to be in the bottom lane with the Janna being the large priority. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Janna pick really early here. Well, we are going to be getting into picks and bans and I can reveal that G.